Great Plains clergy, the grace and peace of Jesus Christ be with your spirit. I'm looking forward to seeing you in person at this year's Orders and Fellowship Gathering in Kearney, Nebraska. Not to worry, we'll take the necessary precautions to ensure that we safely gather. The theme for our 2022 Orders and Fellowship event is All People, All Nations, the Beloved Community. Our foundational scripture is from Revelation 7, 9. After this, I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. From every people and nation underscores the multiracial, multilingual, and multi-ethnic character of the people of God. It casts a compelling vision of God's ultimate salvation, blessing, glory, and power to heal and reconcile all peoples and nations. The Orders and Fellowship theme also borrows from Martin Luther King Jr.'s vision of the beloved community. The beloved community for King was more inclusive and positive than just desegregation. For King, desegregation was made possible by laws that eliminated discrimination against Blacks, Latino, Asian, and Native Americans in public accommodations, education, housing, and employment. But King envisioned a total social integration and interrelatedness created by love, not legislation. A world where both elbows and hearts were together, not apart. And this is good news. The vision of one people from many nations, one beloved community praising Christ together challenges and corrects the stratified racial realities we still encounter in our church and in our world today. This year's orders and fellowship will focus on equipping us for the lifelong work of better understanding how our views, words, actions, and gestures, even those that are inadvertent, may impact people from a different race and sustain separateness and not the theological equality of our oneness as a human race, as sisters and brothers. Tim Weiss, an acclaimed anti-racist educator and author on the topic of race, will be our keynote speaker. He has given speeches at over 1,500 college campuses across the U.S. and has trained teachers, corporate employees, nonprofit organizations, and law enforcement officers in methods for addressing and dismantling racism in their institutions. He will show us how privilege continues to shape individual attitudes, politics, and policies in ways we never even stop to think about. When we acknowledge that racism exists, we can turn our attention to identifying what our complicity looks like and how we might change, even challenge, disrupt, and resist racism in our world in whatever form it presents itself as baptized Christians and disciples of Jesus Christ. Dr. Leah Shade, author of Preaching in the Purple Zone and last year's keynote speaker, will return to walk us through a new issue guide created by clergy and laity from our conference that addresses a concern that people on both sides of the human sexuality debate have. The issue guide titled Finding Our Path in the United Methodist Church, How Can We Talk and Listen? What Can We Do? provides people in the pews an opportunity for deeper conversation, reflection and discernment and appreciation of shared values and our common purpose as Christ's body and United Methodists. I'm also introducing the Bishop's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusivity Advisory Task Force, led by Reverend Kathy Williams. In my 2021 Episcopal Address to the Annual Conference, I promised to convene an advisory task force to provide the cabinet and conference leaders with findings and recommendations that counteract unconscious bias, reduce and eliminate discriminatory practices at all levels of the conference, with the goal of implementing the recommendations is to leverage the full potential of our diverse clergy, laity, and congregations. This is part of our ongoing commitment to be an anti-racist conference, foster anti-racism as part of our discipleship, and be a safe place for all God's children. I'll preach at the opening worship service, and Reverend D. Williams then will preach at the closing worship service. The Orders and Fellowship Event Planning Committee is working to include meaningful worship experiences, generous fellowship time, good food, and fun. Stay tuned for more information to come. See you in Carney. Peace.